Welcome to this video guys. As you may know, on my tuning sessions I was doing a pull with a truck and the serpentine belt, as you see here, right, right here, there's no serpentine belt, is gone. So <clears throat> there is a, um, three things, there is the air conditioner pulley, there is the power steering pump pulley and there's the tensioner this tensioner is not a normal tensioner I can't show you but um, like you pull a pin and it tensions right it's something that you start twisting um, a bolt and then it tensions for you so which that means is I don't know what that means but that doesn't work when you're doing uh, when you're on boost um, I've heard that before forgot about it did a pull did a few pulls right because I'm tuning <clears throat> until it starts squeaking and I didn't pay attention to it um, my something happened to my wastegate so it was escaping some air it was getting hotter but I don't think that was a reason either and then all of a sudden it went away so what am I gonna do I got a suggestion from one of my uh, Instagram guys that uh, you subscribe to my Instagram channel he suggests me to delete the tensioner uh, because he also said the same thing I've heard before and he remind me and say dude that's true it but I didn't know what to do so he sent me an article I'm gonna put a the link to the article right here uh, there is a belt you get and then you take the pulley out of there and loosen the power steering pump through the pulley holes and then when you do that you you are able to pull the pulley around the two pulleys right the um, AC and the power steering and then you pull the power steering and tighten so I'm gonna try that and uh, you know us I didn't know when you were doing uh, Speedwino or Speed EFI which is the same thing Mega Squirt which is a little different but when you're doing all those things uh, there are certain things on the Eclipse that do not work so for example the alternator doesn't have a voltage regulator in it so you need to buy an external voltage regulator and install it which is this guy here but you know until you know it your battery's draining and all that stuff and you stop on the street and anyway so I'm gonna delete this guy tonight uh, we're gonna remove the tensioner and loosen the power steering put the belt and then do all of that so as you see the tensioner is that pulley down there I don't know if I'll be able to hold yeah that one around there um, sometimes it is very hard to take it out there is one bolt see that bolt out there um, it's gonna be a fight to turn all the way that bolt that yeah, one right here um, and sometimes if it doesn't come out uh, we need to take the bracket out and then here we need to <coughs> move this guy out of the way then you gain access to the pulley and you can you see a bolt right there so I'll need to get a wrench uh, there's one bolt up oh you can see both two or three only two <coughs> so yeah those two bolts not the middle one because we're not gonna take the pulley out of there and we're gonna loosen those guys the pump is gonna be Loose, and we're gonna do our work. Okay, that's gonna be impossible to show me doing this, but uh, see the wrench down there. Let me see if I take my flashlight out of the way. And if I come this side, I can go up and down, up and down. And it is actually sending uh, <clears throat> that pulley to the back. And of course, you won't be able to tell. Look at that. There you go. So I'm trying to go all the way. And 
there you go and you see on the back see that little square right down there so I'm trying to push that all the way as much as I can and so I can pull this boat out of the way and it's very important to have some tool like this uh, see so you go it's almost like a, a wrench I don't know how this is called but um, yeah that's pretty cool all right a little bit more twisting and wiggling you can see the boat is out there right here uh, I took the there was a nut where did I put it here that holds that uh, pulley all right so this is the deal I got it uh, there's no much to it I mean this has this bolt goes on like this on the outside this goes inside that bracket and in here on the uh, adjuster and what happens is I push all the way to the back right so twisting that way so from passenger to driver's side and this went all the way to the back which let me slip this up and then push back and just some wiggling uh, between the pulleys uh, let me take it out so yeah just a few parts and as you see this would go right here so this is the tensioner we took it off so now I'm gonna try to put the belt in there and see if it doesn't touch the bracket with I which I think that's not going to because this was there so let's put the belt in okay so two bolts in there I end up losing one bolt on the other side I'm gonna show you here real quick so two bolts in there as you saw here in the bottom here on the top the bottom one is kind of tight and hard and one on the back uh, they're all holding the pump and I was able to push it that way a little bit since we have a little um, slack I need to move you guys this way here a little bit there you go and wow it is by this much so I guess I don't want to push on the wrong side here this one is the hardest because there's a line in there there you go all right now I moved a lot there you go it is in okay so belt is in let me show you on the bottom how it looks like this video is like crazy can you see down there uh, that there dang super hard huh yeah but that one was the one that I was after and then this guy here now I need to get something to pry this like that look so so far the best thing I found was a tire iron and I don't know if that would matter too much but this is where I'm putting it right in here with this part and from there you can see it moving pretty good and I mean there's no slack and uh, okay so I tight a little I'm gonna try 
the top one out. There you go. It's a, I'm using a breaker bar to tie these guys as you see okay so I guess here I got what I need uh, it's no slack whatsoever so usually you get this and you twist um, and you can, there's just so much you can twist so and we're gonna see how it works but I'm pretty sure um, this was enough so I'm just gonna tie the three bolts and call it good alright and to finish we just put this guy back in place and it is good so the belt is very very tight uh, as you see here, I mean, nothing changed, right? Apart from not having the tensioner right there. You see, there's the bracket is in there. There's a C shape. Look, which it was supposed to have something in there, and it's all gone. Uh. So I hope this video helps you on uh, how to make this. This is the one I got, but the link will be in the description here to the Amazon. Uh, Amazon is easier and is better because it doesn't disappear very often. Uh, you can get this eBay or Riley's, whatever it is. I like uh, always post links from Amazon because it's always easier, you know. Uh, but it could be K 5K490. I couldn't find much with that number, but K050490. Uh, that one worked for me. This. I just hope there wasn't someone breaking into the curse. Um, anyway, I'm gonna cut the, the talking. Um, this is it. It's gone. That's history. I hope the belt doesn't come out anymore. Uh, it's just snowing outside, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to go out tomorrow and do some pulls with that. Um, the beamer. I want to go give it a little bath and uh, take to the storage. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with this, with this weather. I want to go for a last ride. Of 2020 although 2020 is almost over let it let it be right let it go um, and I was thinking about a new format for for the channel um, what do you guys think if you guys have any uh, idea or recommendation how do I uh, change the structure what what would you guys would like to see more would you like to see me uh, driving those cars, fixing those cars, tuning those cars? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot keep buying parts for those cars because um, I don't have that a lot of money to do that. Um, although we came long ways with a bunch of parts, you know, some of them cheap, some of them more expensive. But um, yeah, uh, let me know. Put, leave here a little comment with uh, what you think. I really hope this video helps you because some people want to delete that thing. Um, I always had problems since I bought the car. I lost two of those already, and then it squeaks, and then you gotta tighten, you know. And anyway, I I think this is gonna work. I can't turn on the car right now because it's super loud. Doesn't have exhaust, and it's probably 1 a.m. Um, but.
subscribe to my channel right here hit the subscribe button it could be right here I never know because the camera is switched so um, hit the little bell button also so you know the next videos coming up and guys appreciate your help you appreciate our support and I'll see you on the next video